All right, I've had uh, quite a few people that want to uh, see how one of these Ponzi harvesters operate. Um, and I don't have my other camera with me today, so I cannot um, show you what the harvester head and boom and all the stuff's doing while I'm showing you the, the controls. So I do have another way I can show you um, to where you can see the buttons and see what they do. Now these harvesters are set up to where you can you can completely customize them um, depending on what your preferences are, um, what you do more of, what you cut more of. Um, so I'll just go ahead and and uh, show you that real quick. So what you do from from the screen here is you go to your drop down and you go to maintenance and then settings. And there is a whole bunch of um, customizable options in here. Um, there's everything, you can control everything. But you go up here to this tab, driver specific. And also there's a, more, a bunch more things there, but if you click on this keyboard, it says keyboard right there. Then it shows you your layouts of your controls. See, that right there. Looks just like that right there. So, okay, I'll show you here, and if you can, if you read right here, it shows exactly what they are, and I'll explain them really quick as I go. Um, so my first button, it'll light the button up. First button on my on my left hand, that tilts up and uh, tilts down. I mean, if you push it, it'll tilt up or tilt down. My harvester head. Um, that's for standing up felling trees or um, tilting it back down for. Um, grabbing anything on the ground or if you'd let go of it or slipped off it you tilt it down okay button number two is uh, that opens my front blade up which the front is the lead blade towards the top of the harvester head and that helps out a lot when you're uh, into hardwood or even anything with a wider branch on it or a thicker branch and that'll help to open it up and and get around it or to break it after you've cut into it a little bit uh, to make it go a little quicker and easier. All right, my next button over. Uh, let's see. Nope, from there over I have. Okay, let's go to the next row down. I don't I don't use those ones too far or too often. They're kind of in a goofy spot, so they're set up um, just from default. So I did not change those. Okay, my my left hand first row down is my pre-selection one. That generally cuts eight foot four um, if I push it no matter what I'm on um, it'll it'll slide that harvester head saw to eight foot four my second pre-selection my second button is uh, um, let's see ten foot four twelve four um, and then I believe I go to sixteens eighteens and then my lower one, when you're doing, uh, there's a couple different ways to grease on this machine. You have to get up in the harvester head and uh, there's a lot of grease fittings on there. And it helps most of the time to get to a lot of them if you can open them up and leave them. And uh, there's valves in there that'll hold those open. I mean, you can um, hit this emergency stop button when you're holding them open, that's one way to do it. It's not my preferred way of doing it, but uh, um, so anyways, I have these proportional valves set up. And if I press it one time, you see that? It opens my blades. And then if I press it again, it'll close my blades. And uh, my L13, my lower button on my left hand is slow feed. If you're holding on to something big, um, pretty good size like over a 17 inch and if you hit your, your pre-selection button it'll just take off flying and them knives will drop that tree and then you got to reset where you're at you know and, and uh, reset your saw so your your counters back on zero so um, that helps sometimes or you can just do it manually but then also on my uh, on my thumb here let's see I have uh, another open front blade it just depends sometimes you can you hit it with my with my middle finger right here 
or it's easier if you're doing it just depends like I said um, you can grab with your thumb real quick so that helps out sometimes depending on what you're doing and then this uh, this front button on my left thumb is stump treatment and that just brings the saw out to kind of see where it's gonna come into the into the wood at so you just press that it'll bring the saw out um, without spinning it'll bring the bar out without spinning the saw so um, that's why they call that stump treatment you can kind of see where it's at but and then also my proportional valves if I push the tilt up proportional valve right here on my left thumb um, that I can tilt that thing up at a perfect degree if a tree is is uh, laid over or something and still has to be cut off or it's leaning on something else or you you lost one because you had to let it go and it's still caught up in the top somewhere else um, you use that and you can tilt it and then if I use my tilt down button it'll go the opposite way and I can put it to every angle and grab hold of everything it's a pretty pretty good setup here all right now my uh, right hand here that right there is what activates and opens um, the harvester head knives and feed wheels um, when the screen comes on it'll say um, activate harvester head and that will continue sending all the the power to that control module and let all my buttons work in here it's just a safety factor or safety feature um, so that activates it and opens and then my second button over opens just my feed wheels now on my left hand my second button over opens my my blades so um, so if I want to do it on this side then uh, I can open up individual feed rolls or and or knives so that helps out quite a bit and then uh, my third button over is like I said if you if you let one go and your saw is not um, set at zero at the end of the log or whatever chunk of wood you're cutting um, I have a, an easy button set to where I don't have to run my saw um, as soon as I run my saw it does set the counter back to zero for a new cut so um, if I press this restore right here on my third on my right hand the third button over um, that one sets the saw counter back to zero and then let's see multi stem harvesting I don't use that too often I have it set um, I just have a, a check box in there that I use a majority of the time and then if I go into manual then it kind of eliminates that anyways that's all right I don't have anything in that one but uh, let's see all right there's not too many on my right hand that I do have set up now a lot of these are set up just they have been set up or changed or or messed with or factory settings I just haven't changed them to to anything else that I've needed um, so and then on my right hand my rocker that's one way of steering this if I go forward and backward and then I also have another way of steering this which is this uh, little rocker back and forth um, when I'm facing the boom which is considered the rear of the machine there's two ways and then when I'm facing the front of the machine which is behind me I also then have a wheel right here that just acts as a you know a little free spin wheel that does steer it also so um, I did forget to show the left side I have nothing set up for the rocker forward and reverse but up and down that extends my boom and uh, retracts my boom and then my gear selector is on my left also forward neutral or reverse okay so then my thumb buttons here on my right hand see the green one lit up there I have that one set for tree species 3 which is hardwood um, which I have set to hardwood and then 4 is um, aspen and then 1 is pine and then uh, my saw button is the one that's closest and easiest to get to because that's the one you use the most so um, and then on my right right hand I have my uh, throttle you set that and it sets it to working RPM um, and then it goes automatically from there this is my um, my one two and three speed for my transmission this is all my windshield wipers front or this is rear actually 
depending on which way I'm facing, I'm facing the rear right now, which is towards the boom. And this is uh, rear, side, side, and then front. And then I have my uh, my uh, happy little um, turtle and rabbit mode. That button right there at the rear on the right side, that unlocks, uh, um, I think it's a partial axle unlock. So if you're on a side hill or whatever, then uh, uh, it helps out. So, and then on my left here, I have where I can lock all four or both sets of axles or unlock. This is my frame lock for if I'm out to the side and you know there's any tipping factor, that frame will rise up. And then uh, it'll keep my cab stationary on the ground and all four bogies. So that helps out a lot. And then this uh, button right here is, it just brings up all the digital gauges across the bottom. I push it again, it goes off. And then this right here is my seat. That'll let me spin around now. And then I set it to whatever spot I want. It just releases that air. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Like I said, there's, there'll be a time where I will go through this computer a little bit more. Um, but there is, there's so many different things you can do. Um, customizability, if that's the word for it. But that's just how I have mine set up. Um, I'm sure mine is probably unique to just me. There'll be a couple buttons, you know, your saw button and stuff like that. The the uh, boom extension, um, that's that's a standard setting, I believe. Um, other little things like that that'll kind of be the same across the board for everybody. But other than that, you can whatever you feel is more comfortable. That's what you do. Um, you can just change them. But then my um, my jib boom is pull back on this. On this right joystick, pull back is up, push forward is down, and then this is my uh, rotate side to side to rotate the harvester head, and then my main boom, pull back, it lifts up, push forward, and then this is my swing. It just swings the boom. No cab on this one, that would be the scorpion. No cab swing. So, but uh, that's about it. Um, there's just so many stinking settings in this thing. I can, you can change one gear out of, out of all three gears. You can change one gear to carry you through all the speeds. It's there's so many different things you can do with it. It just depends on how you want it set up. So um, that'll be the the quick little video on how I have my harvester set up. I don't know if it'll help anybody on maybe getting them some ideas. You probably got you know your own ideas and things work better for different people. That's just what I found to work for me best. So, um, but other than that, I will eventually do um, a control video, actually showing, and and I'll be uh, going over my controls while I'm actually harvesting. But um, I just wanted to kind of show you the computer. Um, there's just a lot of things you can do. But uh, that's it. That'll be all for now. Thanks for watching, guys.